it seems like there's a good healthy number of people so you guys might be wondering what's the special announcement right what's gonna happen well I don't know if you guys have noticed that there is a new points thing you can uh, contribute to in in the channel points and I was thinking about this today and I was thinking about like you know how we're gonna make you know really work toward making better content in the channel something that are more interesting so you might notice that there is this thing called the strive exhibition challenge and basically what happens is you guys get channel points for watching right if you guys contribute to the challenge what's gonna happen is if we get to 30,000 points in 30 days then when strive comes out I will host an eight-man invitational at my house that'll take place over two days that'll have a combo challenge a regular round robin and a round robin where everyone's characters are picked by you the viewers right so that'll that'll kind of hopefully make things hype and interesting I kind of wanted to do something fighting and related to here at the place so that's that's the strive challenge right that's how we're gonna get, get you guys some content so uh, well obviously I'll have to do some protocols to make sure that we're all safe and healthy with all the corona stuff that's why it's going to be an invitational not open so I'll have to be hosting people in my house but be expecting lots of content coming in so uh, we're gonna definitely have probably a guilty beers section where it's after hours where every time someone loses they have to drink to see who's the last man standing a, a guilty beer king of the hill so things like that that that's what the challenge is for so yeah we just need 30,000 I mean if we get the viewership to make that consistent I am more than happy to do that I will probably work on getting a oh my god 25% complete already so uh, you know I'll definitely be looking forward to working with you guys to figure out who we're gonna have at the exhibition uh, I've reached out to some people already and I have them to start really practicing up and uh, stay tuned be ready so yeah uh, and hopefully if you guys like the format and you like the idea of doing these stream challenges like these community challenges I think it'd be fun to do in the future I just want to make sure that when I do it it's something you're gonna enjoy right so Get your friends to watch, right? Have them come through, even if they just view bot. Just them getting the points, because you get like 220 per hour is the average, right? So just them view botting, donating to that, and then we'll uh, we'll work to make sure you guys get some quality Guilty Gear content. I might work with uh, getting some special layouts and everything for you guys, so stay tuned. That's the plan. Yes, I am playing the beta. I will be here every day of the beta, probably three or four hours, maybe five or six, who knows. Yeah, so that's that's kind of the project I want to work on for you guys. To my PNW brethren, you know who you are. You probably need to start practicing your Guilty Gear because uh, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know that I hit this fucking grind, right? So I hope you guys are excited. I hope that sounds like interesting. Uh, if you guys got recommendations for players that I should look into to reach out to, that I can do that as well. Again, it's an eight-man invitational, so it's definitely one of those things where it's going to be a little bit more controlled just because we I want to acknowledge everyone's health concerns. But I also want to get you, like, quality. So, that being said, the Axel versus the Ramlethal, which... I don't know if you guys have watched this yet. This is a character to watch out for, is all I'm gonna say. And in the last one, you know how I talked about, uh, ranged characters are definitely going to be, like, strong in this game? This is, uh, definitely one of the reasons why. Now, I am willing to allow some degree of, like, levity for the fact that Ram does not play anything in this game like she did in Exert. So it is, it, you have to basically relearn the character because they changed all of her mechanics. So. 
you know, having this full screen command grab is definitely not gonna hurt him at all. Right? I'm really, I'm curious on the storyline. Okay. Didn't go for the, the multiple DPs. Probably too far from the wall to uh, really get the optimal carry and the wall splat. DRC. Interesting burst. I don't. I don't agree with all. All right. This is what. Everybody has the entire internet in storm right now. All of FTC Twitter is on this move. All right. So why? 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 Why is this busted? So if you were here for the analysis yesterday, every time Axel used this move, it looked like it was kind of an auto confirm, right? Like whenever you hit somebody, you automatically confirm it into this once that state is active because the uh, the one vision state is active for so long. That super is like. I think five to ten seconds of active time that you can use it. Uh, so that, but that was that to me made sense and seemed fair because then it really forced Axel players to kind of pick how they were going to attack their opponent more carefully because they would have to confirm and try to find a combo off of whatever they hit. Right? Dual one. Uh, this is just a, a rough match out. Uh, match out. Like, all of Axel's moves get the, the opponent out of your face. So, you'll notice that Ram has the most difficult time getting in at all. It just effectively keeps her out, makes her so that way she can't play the game plan she wants to. There we go, one vision, half circle forward, punch. Half circle back, confirm. And to. Oh, I'm definitely gonna play Soul. I mean, you weren't here for the the marble stream where we had to figure out what characters to order. I had the lab characters. I have to learn. I have to lab chip first, and then Milia, and then I can play solo. All right. All right. So Ram's gonna get this uh, positive meter, so she's gonna gain meter really fast, right? And Ram is at huge advantage right now. Still has burst, full meter. Uh. I just no button there for some reason. Just didn't didn't click a button. Seeing that the cross up is gonna happen. All right, get pushed out. Hard time confirming. Right. All right. So not a great time to not a great move to confirm. Auto confirm. He has to make what happens. In my mind, the train of logic still makes sense. And I think if this person had more time to really play around with Ram before doing this video, we'd see some more interesting things. Because otherwise, I think this video just makes Axel look way too strong. Alright, so he activates it. Gets counter hit. So this counter hit automatically confirms that no, it is not an automatic uh, confirmed super. Where you have to convert your next hit. Instead, what it does is this. This is what got people kind of shook right now. So Ram already has very few ways to actually get on an axle, right? Throws her projectile move. I granted this is probably a high and anti it has anti-air properties. Uh literally runs under a hip the hitbox. This character is unable to act or block. 
You literally just JoJo your opponent. Zawardo. In... While I understand the thought, I think it kind of... Upon initial inspection, kind of kind of seems busted, right? Like just your you can uh, cancel your opponent's move entirely. Like, what if the opponent tried to do a super, right? Well, then they're stuck in that super animation, right? Is that that's how it's gonna work? So there's some interesting questions that have to be prompted here. Uh, can you burst out? Right, since it's technically a super move, can you burst out? Of, no, you wouldn't be. Able, you can't burst out of supers, so. It's probably not burstable. Uh, Axel has the range to really convert anywhere on screen. Like you throw his full range, full screen command grab, you're still gonna get some damage out of it. So it's not because of how long the super stays active and usable. I feel like that uh, that definitely throws it off here because. Definitely three seconds go by. And so Axel doesn't have to play a super committal game once the super is active. Which it can, it's kind of intu counterintuitive to balance, right? So if he's going to have the ability to just keep the opponent to not be in his face whatsoever, then having that super should have to kind of force the mindset. But it entirely doesn't. He doesn't have to at all. It's a design choice. I'm not sure it's a good one. But we'll see how that plays out. Yep. JoJo's the opponent entirely. So if you're curious who I think are going to be really str strong characters when you uh, start playing in strive <sighs> Axel and Kai are looking strong I mean granted the people will there, there's some levity you have to take with that the people who are playing them they're legacy characters right so you kind of know what's up Ramathal you can consider I guess technically legacy but not not a whole lot just because only really was exert and then strive and they entirely redid her kit since Exer, so she basically plays like a new character entirely. But uh, who? And I will get to that next. But anyway, that's it for this YouTube video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for coming out, and stay classy. Peace.